Hello you guys, my name is Alicia and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the basics of QCup Pro. So this is going to be an updated 2017 version because the last time I did this it was either 2015 or 2016 and it was a while ago and it might not have been super clear so I just wanted to share a video and an updated tutorial with you guys today. So before we get started be sure to like this video, subscribe if you guys want more editing tutorials and make sure to share this video with your friends who need editing help. So to start off, you're going to go into QCut Pro and this is the screen you're going to get. If you want the information about editing and help along the way, you can press the I button and it will offer you lots of feedback and tutorial videos, but I'm just going to go through it as I know it today. So you can, the first thing that you can do is there's going to be these two videos here and you could press the edit button and you can either remove them or you could just leave them. The plus means that it will duplicate it and this means that you can send it to iTunes, but we're not going to do that. So in order to make a new movie, you're going to go to the top left corner right here and you're going to press that and then you have the new movie and you can name it. So I'm just going to name it Tutorial. So then it will open up a screen like this. You can change it, the resolution of it, so it could be HD, SD, or a square movie if you want to make something for Instagram. I'm just going to go with HD because that's probably what you're going to want to use if you're posting YouTube videos. You could also choose landscape or portrait. Portrait will be like the... Uh, hot dog style I guess and then landscape will be hamburger. I don't really know what the difference and then you can choose the background color So this basically means like any overlays the background will be this behind it So I'm just gonna go with white and then you can also change the frame rate So that means like the quality and how smooth it looks So I'm just gonna go with 30 frames per second and then this just means that if there's an image like in the movies page Like when you go back like if you want to display something, so I'm just gonna leave that off for now so then once you have all your, uh, I guess, settings picked out, you're going to press done and it will create this new video. So in order to edit, you could tap on the plus button and you can add a video, you can add a photo, text, you can draw, you can add music, and you can add a voiceover. So to add a video, you're just going to press on video, let it allow it to access your videos, and then you're going to press on a video. So I'll go with, I'm not going to add any of these videos. So then I'm just going to add a photo from my camera roll, so I'll add one of these videos, so there's my thumbnail. So basically it will just play it for however long, and if you want to edit it, what you could do is double tap on the picture, and then there's this bar down here. The first one is if you want to duplicate it, which is the one that's highlighted blue right now. The next is the scissors tool to split it. Then there's the garbage tool to get rid of it. Then there's the transitions tool. When you tap on that, you can add a transition. And there's all these different transitions you can choose on how for it to like come in. So I chose the wipe transition, and when I play it, it looks like that. Because it's like wiping past the screen. Uh, some other things you could change to. I'm just going to delete the transition for now. Because it is like being annoying. Okay. So you can also change the opacity of it so that it's, it's kind of like see-through. You can crop it so that it only encompasses part of the screen like this. You can change the colors and the saturation by clicking on these parts of it. Oh, So you can change the colors by clicking on this here. This you can round the corners or add a border. So I can add a purple border like that if I don't want to. This you can round the corners so that it looks like a pill shape. And then you can also uh, have a shadow behind it here. And this is to just change the orientation of it. And this is to like flip it so that it's like backwards. And that's basically it for all the effects you can do. And so you can also add text, which you press the text button. And then you can just write whatever you want here. And on this bottom bar, there'll be this tool where you can change what you wrote. Then there's going to be the A with the little arrows. And that's to change the size and the color. And then there's also here. There's also the F which you can change the font and you can download fonts. I'll link the tutorial here. So there's not really any cool fonts here that I like but you know whatever. And then there's the A where you could change a border around it so it could look like that. And then you could change if it's on the left side, right side, or middle. And finally the shadow on your text. So that's pretty much it for the text. Okay so now we're gonna go to self draw. So with self-draw, you could basically just draw yeah. however you want on this. So you could press 
and it will come up with like a different fonts and stuff. You could draw lines like that. You could change the color by pressing the color box. You could draw all kinds of different things on here. You can add an image and draw over it. There's really a lot of different things you could do with this. And then if you press the marker tool in the bottom bar, you can go back to drawing. So the other few effects are adding a music, which you could just press music and you can either... Okay, yeah, so that will access my library and I can download any music that I have or I can go to file sharing. And file sharing is when you download it from like an app, which I'm going to do a tutorial on soon how to download videos on your phone so that you can use this. Or you can use the music that they already have and the sound effects that they already have. You can also add your voice, so it will access the microphone and it will start recording whatever you say when that comes up on the screen. So in order to export it, you could just go up to the top right corner and press the arrow with coming out of the box and export to album. If you send it right to YouTube, then it's probably not going to be a good resolution, so I just like to export it to my album and then as high quality. The other buttons on the top here, this one is to, um, this is to play. That one's to export. The settings is to go back to this screen. And then this one is an undo button. So a couple more things with QCut. You can move this around, which is like the bar, and you can like see where you want to add stuff. This plus button here is where you add the stuff. And if you want to like edit how something moves, you could double click on it. Make sure you're on the screen, double click on it. Go to the transitions button, which is the wand, add the plus and do custom transition. And you can rotate it and move it. And you can just keep doing that. So that when you play it, it's like animated. I have a bunch of tutorials on editing like this if you guys wanted to see that. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Also share this with your friends, like I said before, if they need editing help, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.